has been kind of rough. And as it turns out, it's been especially rough on Minnesota's shorelines. The ice on lakes pushing up against the shore, creating kind of a land wall around the water. Our Karen Scullin has the story from Big Marine Lake. You'd think those giant boulders would help prevent shore erosion, but the expert we spoke to says they actually do just the opposite. When Bob Marching visits his lakeside property in the spring, he gets just a little uneasy as he approaches. You're just anxious when you drive up because it's like, well, how much has it heaved so far? He's talking about his shoreline. Winter worked extra hard this year at building a great big earth wall. This is the worst that it's been. All around Minnesota lakes, the problem is big and bad. It's the worst year I've seen in, in 20 years. And this is how it happened. Starting with higher than normal water levels, take a look at what happens in this time lapse video. You can see the ice move, it pushes up against the shore. Because December and January were bitter cold, but with no snow, there was absolutely no insulation. So it's expanding and contracting a lot. And whenever ice expands and contracts, it cracks. Assuming the temperature is below freezing, those cracks fill with water instantly and freeze. So the ice is never allowed to retreat back to its original size. It's always growing inch by inch, and that's why we, we call it a ratcheting effect. And the riprap people put up against the shoreline doesn't really help. Boulders the size of small SUVs would not even slow down uh, the ice. The ice won't think twice about moving boulders, cars, houses. You know, it'll push a house off its foundation. Palumbo says the heaving can usually be prevented. He says the ice needs a ramp rather than a wall which would then let it slide up the shoreline instead of trying to battle winter's ice warrior head on. If you'd like more information on the problem, prevention, or repair, we'll have more details on our website. Just go to fox9.com. In Washington County, Karen Scullin, Fox 9.